All right, so for your medicine ball slams or slam ball slams, what you're doing is you're picking up a ball in the same way that you would properly deadlift so you don't hurt your back, getting that ball up to about your, the center of your torso. Then you're gonna pick that ball up to overhead extension, so getting that ball up and overhead. And then actually, instead of just using a squat, so a lot of times people think about this as a squat movement or they think about this as a hinge movement, I want you to try to think of this as a squatting hinge flexion or squatting hinge contraction. So you're gonna squat and hinge at the same time, trying to create as much downward force as possible while still keeping your torso nice and long, nice and wide, so shoulders down and back, your spine is long through the top of your head, abs are gonna be engaged, and then your lats are gonna also engage, bringing that ball down with as much force as possible while still keeping quality and control of your movement. Once that ball slams on the ground, you're gonna pick up that ball and do it again. So if you need to regress the medicine ball or the slam ball slams, the first and easiest thing that you can do is just drop to a lighter weight. And by going to a lighter weight, there's gonna be far less engagement, far less chance for injury as you're picking up that medicine ball or that slam ball. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just shorten the movement. So don't drop as far. And then the last thing that you would need to do if you still need to regress and you've gotten to the lightest slam ball is to just slow down that movement. So now if you're ready to progress and you need to go a little bit harder with your slam ball, the first thing that you could do is just add speed. So the more force you can create through adding speed, that's gonna create far more engagement throughout your entire body. The next thing that you could do, if you can increase the distance, reach up a little bit higher, maybe get up on your tippy toes at the top part of that movement and slam down a little bit further. As long as you have control of your body, as long as your abs are still engaged, protecting your lower back, you have that intra-abdominal pressure. Then the last thing that you need to do or should do if you still need to progress is grab a heavier slam ball and slam that thing until your heart's content.